Ready to immerse yourself in the vibrant culture of El Paso, Texas? Well, grab your sombrero and buckle up because we're about to embark on an adventure. I'm Kimber Hill, your mill spouse bestie, and I've teamed up with my good friend Chastity, an El Paso expert to give you the inside scoop on everything this border town has to offer. From rooftop restaurants to premier shopping and world famous rock climbing, El Paso has it all. This is the duty station, download across the nation. This is the duty station, download it, download it. This is the duty station, download it. Before we dive into El Paso goodness, I do have some exciting news to share with you. Duty Station Download has partnered up with Expert Voice, which is all about hooking you up with awesome discounts from top brands. I'm talking 60% off brands like Crocs, Stanley, Mamut, covering everything from hiking gear to sports apparel. Now, I know you're itching to start saving, so here's how to join. It's free, just follow the link in the show notes, sign up today and submit a photo of your military spouse ID to confirm your affiliation. That's it, now let's dive into El Paso. Don't listen to the hype when they tell you online bliss sucks, it does not. She has some crazy things when I'm reading that and I'm like, man, that's just a product of somebody who really did not get out and try. You know, I tell our military spouses, you gotta love where you live. If you just sit at home behind your computer screen and talk about all the negatives, well, your cells eavesdrops on your thoughts. Whatever you tell yourself is going to be your reality. So if you sit home and say, I hate this place, there's nothing to do, that is going to be your reality. But if you jump in, there are amazing groups at every installation. There's amazing spouse groups that you can jump in to, to get inundated in your neighborhood and to get a support group, go out and, and test the food, go out and test the entertainment, go meet local friends. You've, you've got to get out and involved to make it someplace you love to live. And it may not be your favorite, but it can also be great if you make it great. Food and outdoor exercise is what El Paso is known for. We have amazing food. And when I say amazing, amazing, I mean, I've been everywhere and I was in New York recently and I'm like, this isn't better than El Paso. And these are supposed to be top chefs. And we have chefs here that's been aired on TV. So that, and we have a robust nature scene here. Like we have a lot of hiking and I don't know if most people know this, but Waco Tanks is one of the top five in the whole world for boulder jumping, if I'm saying that right, where they jump from, you know, I guess rock to rock. People come from all over the world to go there to do that. Right by there, we have a waterfall here in the desert. It's cool. I am Chastity Rosales. I am from South Carolina. That's where the accent is. I ended up in El Paso in 2004. I'm in the Army Reserves myself, and I've been in 28 years. Met my husband here in 2005 when I was um, here in El Paso on the range in full battle rattle, he and I met. And we've been um, together ever since, and uh, we decided to stay in El Paso because of the growth and opportunity that was there. It was a culture shock for me because I came from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and we are the desert. So it's total opposite, no water, no grass, very little natural trees, right? Other than what we plant in these neighborhoods and parks. And so, and we're 87% Hispanic and I'm a Southern girl. I mean, I've been to, around many cultures cause I've been in the army, but it was still different. But what I loved about it was that culture because the Hispanic culture shares a lot of commonalities to the Southern culture, consequently enough. And they're big on food and family. And we are too in the South. So that was comforting me. And it was such a warm population and the food here is amazing. So while it was a culture shock, it was also pleasant. It wasn't just like, ah, oh. the most shock for me was just the difference in not having a beach and trees, but the culture was the warming part of it. I went from Bliss to Fort Lewis and Fort Lewis is a 180 difference from us, right? They have like less than 30 days of sunshine, I believe, and it rains most of the time. But El Paso, we have like 330 days of sunshine with very little rain. But really, you, it, our weather is hard to beat here. Now, summer is hot, but we're dry climate. We don't have humidity, so it doesn't feel the same as like if you're at Fort Jackson. Yes, oh my gosh. Of course, we're a border town, so our Mexican food is amazing. 
I love it when we debate the spouses that come from California and they say California has better Mexican food and we say no, Texas does. Well, not all of Texas, just El Paso because we are not Tex-Mex in El Paso. We are authentic Mexican food because we do have that benefit of being on the border. The favorites for Mexican restaurants are Kiki's, L and J's, and Carlos and Mickey's. People have their favorite of those three, but you would not go wrong. Now, those aren't the only ones. We have tons. You almost will not go wrong stopping any hole of the wall Mexican restaurant here and have an amazing food. If you wanted a great steak, our favorite place for great steak is um, West Texas Chop House for just a steak. If you want a Mexican inspired steak, Corlitos is our favorite. There are um, Tempecania Aracera steak, which is kind of like a little skinny skirt steak, but the way they marinate it and prepare it with, you know, Mexican spices and vegetables is amazing. We have amazing sushi, like Sushi Ito downtown is a cool little experience. And then we have great rooftop bars because in El Paso, we're one of the only cities that you can stand on these rooftop bars and see two states and a country, another country. So you're standing in El Paso, you see El Paso on one side, New Mexico on the other, and Mexico in the distance. And they host cool little like um, tastings up there, wine tastings, food tastings. All these are in the events. Now we have these food truck parks that are elaborate with games and lights and all this stuff. And the food, it, and then it's a different, it's Thai food, sushi, Mexican food, American food, African food, Puerto Rican food. I mean, you name it, you can go just have you a little smorgasbord there. And it's fun and entertaining. And the kids can play in the middle because they have, some of them have toys for the kids in the middle. So it would be a great family experience or meet up for spouses to do. And we at um, Fort Bliss, we have one of only, I think five or six of the premier PX is we have the outdoor PX. It's like an outlet mall type feel where we have outside stores, like major stores on the installation within the PX and around it. What girl doesn't love to get her hair done and love to shop, right? I use a military spouse, her name is Pam, and it's called Northeast Cuts. But when I get my roots done, eyebrows and a trim, it costs me less than $50 for everything. So I, I love her. We also reached out to spouses and queried them on their favorites, and it's listed in our El Paso relocation guide. So you can go there to find all the things we're talking about today, the locations and phone numbers. So we're broken down into five major parts, really west, northeast, east, far east, horizon, central. Most of our military families live on the east side of town because largely what you want to pay for your rent is going to dictate that. And the west side is traditionally the more expensive side of town. So most choose to live northeast or east or horizon. Now, each of the districts have, have great schools within them, right? And it really is what depends on what you want for your child because we do have a lot of magnet programs here. And so if your kid wants to be a doctor, there's a magnet program for that. And we do have a military school liaisons that help with that. And so I would say when you're asking that question, tell them what, you know, your kid is interested in. If they want to be an engineer, you know, Parkland High School in the Northeast has a great engineer program. And when my son went there, most of his class, a bunch of them had gotten scholarships for the engineer program at Texas Tech. So I wouldn't focus so much as the rating as the school district of talking about what you're looking for for your kid. And let's talk about where that exists and how we get you there no matter where you live because some of them also have bus routes that'll take the kids there if it's not in your district and we do have an early uh, college that a lot of them go to that don't go to high school they go to this early college um, program that is also helpful starting with the fort bliss spouse association i i like this because it's non-right dependent and those ladies do a really great job of making it inclusive and they do some really cool stuff on and off post within that spouse club they actually have sub clubs that you can join so if you enjoy reading they have a reading club if you're trying to build a business they have a business club they do historical things they do tastings downtown so it's not just you know centralized to the installation they are out in the community doing things they have bingo they give pocketbooks away they give other things away they give charity in their neighborhood so i really I really like that I've been to other places that is not like that. It's more, you know, more unfortunately catty and clicky. 
So I would encourage them to look into that. If you don't want to be so military centric, you, you just go on Facebook and they're there. We have hiking groups, running groups, biking groups, uh, mountain biking. So you have you have a, a myriad of things that you could get involved. We have gamers, we have gamer groups, we have historical groups. So there really is a plethora of things that I would find hard pressed for anybody not to find something here that was within their interest that they could find their tribe. It's an exciting place and I would just encourage you to get out and learn it. No matter if you're at Bliss or anywhere in the world, any installation, Find your tribe, get out from behind the computer, get out the house, and go take a chance on finding something you love there. This is the